What is going on guys, it's Mike here, back another video. So for today guys, we're playing some Operation Daybreak on Blackhawk Rescue Mission. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a new farming method that I found out to help you guys farm up some XP and cash. Before I begin guys, be sure you guys turn on post notifications, subscribe, and join the Discord in the description down below. If you guys have any questions about Blackhawk, be sure you guys drop it in the comments down below. I'll be sure to reply to them because I love reading comments and all that good stuff. So with that being said, let's get started. So what we'll need in this farming method is pretty much the M4A1 with a double drum which is the 100 mag. I say this because you're going to need it to take down the helicopter by yourself. This method is like solo, you don't need anyone to be with you. And you just could use a jeep or any vehicle you have. If you guys don't have the M4A1 with the double drum, I suggest you uh, look at my other video of farming method. This one is a easier one than the one I'm about to do right here. So you guys can go check that out. I'll leave it in the description down below. But anyways guys, you're gonna make your way over to the desert base, and actually first person's pretty fun with riding the jeep, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but like, I've been trying to go to first person, it's actually pretty fun, so, you guys try that out. He did change the camera views of, I believe it's in the car and in the helicopter, so, if you guys want me to make a helicopter, like, showcase of the Blackhawk, the updated version, with the turrets, let me know in the comments down below guys, because I haven't made one yet, but I'll be sure to do it if you guys want, and the Chinook, because, I have, I don't have a Chinook, but I do have friends that have it, so we could easily showcase that. So you're going to have to make your way to the desert, and um, I'm not going to speed it up because I'll let you guys know where I'm heading in case you guys don't know what the map is. Um, you just It's easy. All you have to do is make one turn and just keep going straight from there. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll pick it back up once I reach the base. So once you head over to the desert base guys, you want to make your way to the right side of the base and what you want to do is you want to clear out the two soldiers in the front and you have to be careful because sometimes uh, they're going to be walking around, at the, there's going to be two walking around in the front but there's going to be two that you're going to have to kill here to gain some entry and then you want to stay close to the building so these are going to be easy kills and you're going to kill the guy on the rooftop to gain entry into the base. Like I said before guys, when you're entering the base, you want to check around for the two guys in the front because they're going to be walking around, so they're not going to be in the same spot where you see in the video. And uh, this one got me off guard, I thought he'd be in the front, but he moved to the side here, but it's easy kill. Uh, he made it so it's easier to not die anymore because like, I, for me, I find it a lot easier. They can shoot you up a lot now without dying that much. And there's going to be easy kills here. Just remember in your head where, where these guys spawn in, and it should, unless you haven't rated this base yet there's gonna be always four at the bottom here and then when the second wave comes around it's gonna be three two in the staircase here easy kills here you can, easy, you can easily pre-fire any of these corners and you shouldn't have a problem with it maybe the roof you'll have a little problem but other than that guys this is the hardest part down with um till the helicopter comes around and i found a nice glitch for you guys to find to fight the helicopter so you won't die so you don't have to worry about that but you're gonna hear like a garage thing open and that's gonna trigger four guys to come out of it it's also going to put two guys in the building, so you want to be careful to take take them out. One's going to come on, come on the roof here. And there's also going to be a supply drop that's going to drop here, so you could easily get a med kit and more ammo. So that's why you want to be using the M4 a lot. Um, because you want to make sure you have plenty of ammo for the helicopter to take it out, so you get the full cash and XP for it. And clear out every single soldier so the heli has a chance to spawn in. It's not a guarantee that the helicopter will spawn in after the first wave. Or and what I mean by the first wave is after you clear out the base along with like the backup forces that come from the garage. There's a first wave that comes from the parachutes that you're going to be seeing soon. Unless you get the helicopter after you clear out the garage crew. Um, that That's going to be it. But like pretty much guys, like I said, be behind the blue there's gonna be like a blue cargo behind the house here so i'm gonna be heading to it right now um when they do parachute down you're only gonna have to battle one guy while he's in the air but he, he shouldn't be able to kill you unless you're on full health which you could easily meta uh medic kit up but anyway guys 
You also want to take note in this video that like just follow exactly what I do here when I'm trying to clear them out so you don't kill yourself in the process of doing it. That's the whole purpose of this video. But you're just going to chill here till they parachute down or until you see the heli. You want to be on the lookout when you're uh, waiting for the helicopter or the paratroopers because if, you, if you're standing in the open, the heli will literally mow you down and you want to make sure you don't want to get mowed down at all. And the paratroopers will pretty much come down and they're going to be shooting at you but you won't take a lot of damage like as you see here. You're going to pop one in your face right here. But there's going to be like four to your left here and one to your right. So try your best to take out the first two and then you're going to be shot a little by this middle guy right here. He's always going to be there so you want to look out for him. And then easy kills here. And then you got to just run over the base again, clear out anything. And to, order, to, to know the base is cleared out, the bodies will disappear. So that's how you know the base is cleared out. And sometimes uh, the last guy will be on the roof. So there you have it. And uh, the heli is going to spawn in after after this wave typically if not you just have to survive another wave of paratroopers behind that blue cargo this is the perfect time to reload on ammo guys because you're gonna need it like i said for the helicopter and this method guys it's very easy to get so much cash and xp but yeah after you're done clearing out this base guys you want to chill back at the cargo fully loaded on your m4 and just waiting for the helicopter it could come from your left or to your right i've never seen it come behind the building so that's why i chose this spot and um, you want to be care you want to be uh, careful in how you approach this cuz the heli does shoot right away when it spots you so you want to make sure that you spot the heli first before it spots you and it's going to be harder for you at night to spot the heli but it does have lights on it so you should be okay so i'll be right back when the heli comes back and i won't speed up anything so it doesn't like screw you guys over and where the heli comes from so you'll know exactly where it comes from or one of the possible ways as the heli comes back guys you want to position yourself very slowly you might want to prone yourself and press z to go back slowly but you want to make it so the heli attacks the like dumpster or cargo i don't know why i call it dumpster cargo just now and Keep tapping till you find out the spot to shoot the heli where you feel comfortable like spraying at. For me it took me a while to figure out where I want to shoot but if you back up too much it will literally drain you but you want to keep the heli shooting at the cargo. Do not move at all before it literally like lasers you down and this is why it's so useful to have the M4 guys to take down the heli and take every damage you can get with it. So you just want to keep aiming at the heli guys and you should be able to take it down with the amount of ammo you have even if you're missing a lot because you'll have 200 more rounds just like me i missed a couple and i still got it down but that pretty much wraps it up for this method guys if you want to keep doing this method you could stay at the base keep clearing it out and it's going to keep rotating you're going to get the wave of troops and then you're going to get the helicopter you're going to get the wave of troops and then the helicopter so that's pretty much it guys with this method if you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna let the gameplay run in the background so you guys can know what i mean by that but if you guys want a new method on cash strictly let me know or if you want xp strictly let me know also guys um this method might be hard for some if you don't have the m4 so i could make some a few adjustments to this so let me know just if you guys don't have any problems with it or like uh, if you guys don't have any problems with it also let me know if it works that being said guys that'll be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one
Take 